I'm David Mize with Mize Formula. Today we're going to go over the clutch. This is the spec triple plate for the Formula 5 project. The first thing that you will notice when you open the box is obviously the clutch and pressure plate assembly, which has been mocked up together here. You'll have to take it apart, obviously, to install it on the motor. And then also you have your hydraulic release bearing and your alignment tool. Now, the thing that I like most about this clutch design, specifically for the RX-7, is it converts it from a pull type to a push type. What that means is instead of using the mechanical clutch throwout bearing design on the RX-7 that pulls on this, known as the pull type design, this clutch uses a typical push type design where you have a hydraulic release bearing that then presses on these splines. It makes for a very smooth actuation and the clutch is really easy to utilize and also be able to service and take in and out of the car. I felt that the pedal difference between this push type design versus using another manufacturer that had a pull type triple plate was night and day. It was much more predictable and it was easier to drive the car, especially coming off from you know a stoplight or such and you're blending the clutch with the gas. Now the phenomenal thing about this setup for my rotary application is this is actually a custom flywheel, which is made from forged aluminum. David Norton at Spec, who's the owner, I talked with him and he recommended this for my car. I was looking for something that would rev really fast, but would also be able to take the heat of me slipping it on the street. So you'll notice that a lot of race cars like the Mazda 787B and such, they'll have a smaller clutch design. They'll be using a 5.5 inch or a 4.5 inch. This is actually still a seven and a quarter inch clutch. So that gives you the surface area also combined with the three discs to be able to slip the clutch and drive it on the street. But we wanted to reduce the rotating mass as much as possible so that it would behave much like a five and a half inch clutch as much as we could. And so we reduce the mass by replacing the flywheel that's typically steel with this forged aluminum flywheel. Now, the, the significance of it being forged aluminum is it's a lot stronger than the traditional aluminum flywheels that you'll purchase for racing applications. And that's because we want to make almost 1500 or more horsepower in some situations with this setup. And then we have this ring gear, which has been pressed on from steel. And there's also a steel wear surface that is on the flywheel itself. So you're not actually putting the discs against raw aluminum. The discs are being are grabbing against a steel wear surface. So what this ultimately means is that we have a reduced moment of inertia and also much less rotational mass from the light and flywheel made from aluminum. This is gonna allow us to have a very quick rev. So the engine will rev almost like a Formula One type car or a Le Mans style car, especially considering we have 25% more displacement from another rotor. So when you couple this with the engine, we'll have a really quick rev response, which will also help with deceleration on the track it also helped with wear on the dog rings for the transmission between shifts, helping to facilitate quicker shift times through the pneumatic system. And because we have the triple plate in the full seven and a quarter inch, this should allow slip ability for street driving. So it may be a little more difficult to get moving, but we'll be able to slip the clutch to do so. So I wanna thank Spec again, David Norton over there, who's the owner. He's an incredible supporter of rotaries worldwide and in the local communities from Birmingham, Alabama, just like me. And I'm very appreciative to spec for setting up the Mazay Formula 5 with this product. And I can't wait to show you more, especially when we install it on the billet vibrator engine.